start with the latter first. I, I, yeah, I think, you know, we're fortunate, you know, <laughs> uh, to, to get the win tonight. Um, like you said, similar, uh, similar games in terms of like the finish, um, you know, having to kind of find a way to grit it out and, and tough it out. Um, and that's just how it goes sometimes. Um, I think, you know, your intentions are always to come out and play your best game ever, but it, it doesn't always happen that way. Um, you know, we, we had, we had some, some stretches where we looked good and some stretches where, we, you know, we didn't, not necessarily because of, um, you know, our opponent, um, just, you know, decision-making, uh, understanding of a situation, uh, you know, that, you know, we didn't handle as well at times, but you have to give Atlanta credit. They kept playing and kept fighting. Um, uh, you know, I thought Eric McDonald is really what kind of resurrected them a little bit um, as the game continued to go. Um, but, you know, we'll look back at it and see. Uh, I, I think we got up, tried to steal like a minute and a half or two rest for NECA when we got up 16. And I don't think that was directly the reason why the momentum turned, but that's when it started to turn. Um, so we're just, you know, fortunate that we had that cushion and uh, we were able to hold on and get the win. Uh, I think, you know, um, the, the fans that continue to come out and support us, you know, uh, at this time, very much appreciated by us and our players. Uh, and we appreciate you guys coming out as well. Um, Christy, yeah, we're, I mean, really just happy for her. Like that, it's, she's very, very intentional about um, her love and passion for the game um, and continuing to be a part of it in a major way. And um, to, to have an opportunity, uh, you know, like that in Dallas is, is uh, you know, it's amazing. It's great. And, you know, I think the, the growth and evolution of uh, coaching and teaching and, you know, hopefully us continuing to get beyond, you know, labels in terms of gender and, and color and that, you know, we're just, um, you know, we're just all trying to do right by the game of basketball. And, you know, Christy is, that type of player, that type of person. And I think she's going to be a great coach as well. John, congrats on three straight wins in this season, 18 consecutive home wins here at Staples Center. But how do you carry this momentum on the road when you're looking at six games, thousands of miles, and you won't be back right. until September? Yeah. Literally. Right. Um, yeah, no, I think it's uh, – you know, it's, it's a great opportunity for us uh, to really, uh, you know, show where we are as a team and, and the lessons that we have learned, the adverse situations that we have been in, um, you know, winning on the road in, in any sport is really difficult uh, to do. So, you know, we really just have to focus on um, the, the one game that is now in front of us, which is New York on Sunday. And and worry about everything else after that. Um, you know, I think there are things that we can obviously take from these three games that we're doing well. Um, I, you know, to, to come in night in and night out the last three games and, you know, teams shooting below 40% from the field every time, um, we can take that out on the road, right? That's not a talent thing. Uh, it's not a, you know, you have to be this person in order to play that way. Like, I think those are things that will travel well for us, uh, our defense. Um, Percentage-wise, even though, you know, these last couple of games, well, from a possession standpoint, we're a little lower. Uh, Percentage-wise, overall, we're shooting the ball better. Like we, we used to be in the high 30s, low 40s in field goal percentage, maybe 41 most nights. Um, the last couple of nights, we've been 45% from the field, 44.5% tonight. We didn't shoot the three as well on Tuesday night. Percentage-wise, 35 36%, not bad. Wish we could have gotten some more. Uh, but I think overall, we're becoming a little bit more efficient. 29 assists on 36 field goals Tuesday night, 16 assists on 25 made field goals tonight. So that's a pretty good assist percentage as well on the shots that you're making. So if we can carry some of that out on the road, um, you know, take better care of the basketball than we did tonight. Your defense, you know, you can pack that in your suitcase every time. Maybe we'll have a chance in the fourth quarter and, and see what we can do. Thank you. Yep.